Hi guys, how are you today? I hope you're doing super. I'm doing super. Um, today I'm going to talk about how to personalize your blank tabs, how to get text on your tabs. I get this question a lot, so I thought I'd make a video and maybe you already know it, maybe you don't. So let's do it. Um, this will work on any notebook that has blank tabs. So it doesn't necessarily have to be my notebook. It can be anybody's notebook. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it in good notes. Uh, and then I'll talk a little bit later about note shelf and notability. But so let's get started. You can see this is my notebook. Uh, this is the landscape portrait series, uh, good note or in bold hues. And um, I've already built this notebook, but I'm going to take you through how to do it. So the first thing you want to do is go to the very first page of your notebook. Uh, mine is the cover. I don't want text here, so I'm going to go to this page. All right. Um, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to throw this into portrait mode so you'll be able to see everything a little bit bigger. Uh, oh, let's just do this. All right. So now you can see it a little bit bigger now that it's in portrait mode. Okay. So you're going to want to choose your text tool. You're going to want to choose a font and a size and a color. And then you're going to want to type out individually uh, what you want for each of these tabs. So I've already pre-written out um, the tabs, most of them. So I'm going to do my last one. It's going to be social. All right. So now that I've done that, what you're going to want to do is you want to take your lasso tool and you're going to want to lasso and resize each one individually and place it on your tab. So now I'm going to kind of whip through this because I don't want to waste your time. And you can go through and double check the size. I'm just doing, like you can see, I kind of accidentally blew it up there. Resize. Because I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so I like everything to look perfect. And that's not always a bad thing. <sighs> oh, so what I'm going to do is change the color. I don't want black for my tabs, I want white. So I'm going to actually lasso all of them and make them white. Change the color. White. There. So when you're done, you want to, you know, make sure everything is where you want it. Make sure it's centered and it looks good. Uh, and then, you see how you have them all nice in a row? Obviously check for spelling. <laughs> and then... You're going to want to lasso all of them. Mm, I don't think that grabbed. Let's lasso all of them there. And you're going to want to copy. Then you're going to want to go to your next page and paste. And you are going to do that for every page in your notebook until you've reached the end because, uh, it has to be done on every page. Uh, it just, that's just the way all the notebooks are set up. So here, let me just flip it back into landscape mode. Um, it's just every page is its own page. So it's not like you can do it one time and then it works, you know, for the whole thing. Uh, it does have to be done for every single page. Uh, you can see, let's see here. Um, I have gone through and I have done it on, on every single one. This is very important. Okay. This is very, very important. If you are writing or whatever you do in your notebook. Okay. So let's, we'll draw a heart. Let's see you make a mistake. And I, my tendency is to clear page. That's what I always do. I always go up here and I'm always clearing the page, right? When you clear the page, it will clear the um, the text on the tabs that you've done. So you'll want to erase. Or, you know, if you don't care, then clear the page and then just you can copy and, and repaste them. Another nice thing is 
if you copy the page and then when you paste it, it pastes with what you have done. So that's super nice. So that's just very, very handy. Um, it saves a lot of time in the long run. Now, um, again, this I showed you in good notes how to do it and it works uh, in note shelf, maybe not as easy, but it still works in note shelf. And in Notability, I absolutely couldn't get it to work with the text. I could like, um, you know, like handwrite the text and copy and paste them on. But um, I'm not a huge fan of Notability. I'm sorry. Uh, my daughter absolutely loves Notability. So she does not like it when I diss Notability. But um, it just, I couldn't get it to work nicely in Notability. So I'm sorry to all of you notability lovers out there. Uh, you could always just, you know, handwrite really nicely and then copy and paste onto the tabs. So I hope that this, um, I hope that this explained everything for you. I hope that you understand how to do it. I hope you find it super easy. Uh, like the hardest, not the hardest, but the, the most time consuming is just like typing it out and just making sure everything's like perfectly even, but then once you copy and paste, you just literally flip, you know, flip, paste, flip, paste, flip. It goes very, very fast. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. I hope you have a super awesome day. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you. Bye.